What's up, what's up everybody? We've got a video for you guys today. We've got a video. I say that like we never have videos. This is a YouTube channel. We have a lot of videos on a lot of days. Anyway, we have a video for you guys today where we talk about weekly challenges. What are weekly challenges? Potentially nothing ever. But, <laughs> but hold on. You have a video talking about the thing, but it's nothing? Typical Jubego video. Typical Jubego. Hey, we got an exciting video about nothing. Who is excited? So, I had this idea. It's kind of stemming from a few different ideas, from a few things from different games have done this stuff before, etc., etc. But I had this idea. I was like, oh, what about this? And I was like, oh, who do I tell? I was like, you know what? Let me, let me, let me, t let me talk to Evan. Let me talk to Evan from CompTOS US office. I was like, dude, what about weekly challenges? What about this? What about this? What about this? And he was like, oh, dude, what about this? And I was like, oh, what about this? And he's like, oh, I'm gonna send this to the devs. And we were like, oh, he might have not even been oh, he might have just been typing like, oh, what a good idea. And he's like talking to like, like, dude, guys, other guys at CompTOS, come here. Look at this dumb Jubegel idea. Look at this dumb idea Jubegel has. He thinks it's a good idea. Can you believe he thinks it's a- put it in the Jubegel Ideas folder and it's just like a trash can with like a label that says Jubegel's Ideas, probably a big trash can. There's a lot of big dumb ideas. Anyway, anyway, but I thought this was a cool idea. Uh, let's talk about what are weekly challenges. What are weekly challenges? Weekly challenges are like maybe one or two challenges a week that are kind of like the- if you guys remember the childish challenges that he used to do back in the day, he used to challenge the community, YouTubers, etc to do, uh, to show one team, like I remember one that he did, like one team that could do Giants, Dragons, and Necro, the same five units that could, that could clear Giants and Dragons and Necro. And then everyone had to do a YouTube video and enter the Childish Challenge and then someone got a gift card, whatever. But it was basically like a fun thing for the community members. It wasn't even just for YouTubers, it was for whoever wanted to do it, I think, too. Anyway. 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 But stuff like that. Okay, so. Let's, I did, I did a picture. I did multiple pictures in Photoshop. But, weekly challenges. Challenge the community to do different things. We'll talk about what exactly they are. But you could get cause potentially cosmetic things from them. Like, not game-breaking things, but fun things you can kind of challenge yourself. You, like, breathe a little bit of excitement, a little bit of fresh things. Like, oh, let me do, there's a reason to do, not just a zero reason, like, oh, there's a reason to do this crazy silly thing is because I get this new cosmetic thing. I get maybe, like, a frame. I don't know if you guys play other mobile games. Some people do, some people don't. Um, I play a game called Soul Hunters, and, like, when people do certain achievements, like, when they reach something, they get this cosmetic frame around their their profile picture where they people can say like oh I reached rank one in arena so I get like this special frame so when you attack someone you're like oh they were w rank one at some point you could if they have that uh, that frame equipped you'd be like oh okay might want to think about that it's kind of like a show-off thing right it's kind of like kind of like the uh, I don't know like like you know like the bling when you got bling I don't have bling I got dumb bling but, you know, things that people like to show off, right? So frames, weapon skins, uh, they do this in Overwatch, I know. They have different skins on, like, I'll show you guys. Oh my god, I'm like winded already. I'm like winded already. Like how Susano has, like, a sword. I know no one ever builds Susano, but like how Susano has a sword. How this guy has this, uh, like, this, that. Maybe, like, different color, like, sparkly weapons or, like, weapons that have like gold weapons or like whatever weapon skins it's not really a big deal it's not really difficult to implement that into the game you're not creating new dungeons you're not creating new mechanics you're not testing it like you don't have to really test too much internally as a developer like I used to work in the in the, in the industry I used to make video games um, so these things like this like little challenges and little extra skins it's just a texture map it's just a little skin it's nothing like too crazy the frames just little artwork. It's nothing really too crazy that it's like, oh, it needs to be have a crazy amount of development time. No, it's pretty. It's pretty simple. Pretty, pretty quick to do. So they could do weekly challenges for little things like this, like one little thing per week, and then like, oh, next week it's a different thing. Like you got the whole week to try to complete the challenge. Next week it's a different thing, etc., etc. So you could have like frames, weapon skins, unlocking new island decor, like flowers. Like sometimes you're like, oh, I got the pink flowers, I got the blue flowers, I got the white flowers. What if you want Gucci flowers? Sometimes ladies like Gucci flowers, all right? Sometimes they like those those Louis Vuitton flowers. You never know. Some people like to show off. 
Anyway, uh, light dark scroll pieces. I mean, this is kind of this is kind of you get extra power because light dark. What if you summon something great from those legendary scroll pieces? So maybe that's maybe that's a good idea. Maybe that's a bad idea. But we could do like maybe maybe like one PVE challenge, one PVP challenge a week. We thought it was we thought I thought it was a cool idea. Evan thought it was a cool idea. He 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 sent the idea to the devs. I want to know what you guys think as a community. And I'm gonna talk. We're we're we going. We got more pictures. I made more pictures. I made more pictures, but I want to know what you guys think as a community, if you guys like this, if you guys have other feedback, other input, like, oh, I mean, these are just, these are just, uh, I'm just throwing some ideas out there, shape-shifting stones, reappraisal stones, whatever, they like, they like doing events where we have those things anyway, but I think the frames and the skins and the cosmetic things that you can only get from doing these, do, doing certain achievements might be a fun way to get. Uh, to get more excitement into just like little little silly different things that we sometimes like to do in the community anyway So I think that might be cool or other cosmetic things These are the things I thought of I'm sure you guys can think of other great ideas, too So leave them in the comments below if you guys have some other ideas. Here's some examples some examples. I don't think some of these would work Maybe they need to be tweaked. Let me know your guys opinions opinions and inputs in the comments um Win ten time, win ten RTA matches with only war bears. That sounds like a Jubego thing. That sounds like a thing Jubego would do. Very much a Jubego thing. Uh, win six out of six guild war battles without taking damage. It's e so so. This thing like this is wouldn't necessarily work. Like what if you're like okay, this would be really easy if you have if you're up against like a baby guild where everyone's got like one three star monster defense. So maybe there's got to be stipulations or something. As far as, or like, and you don't know who you're gonna match up against. So, maybe that needs to be, it's it's an idea. I don't think it would necessarily, this specific one would work, but I think maybe someone in the comments might have a better idea. Uh, based on that. Win six out of six guild war battles using only fire units. It could be an idea too. Maybe, maybe, or maybe those don't give anything too crazy game breaking, right? So, anyway, have ten successful arena defenses with light dark team. So many people on Aegis, so many G2 players on Aegis server already doing this every day. Like, oh yeah, don't worry, I got my, uh, I got my Ragdoll, Yin Hong, whatever, whatever, arena defense team. I'm not saying I do, I'm saying people, <laughs> I've seen some of the Aegis server accounts. Some of the crazy, crazy, crazy ones. But anyway, some different PvP challenges. These ones, the PvE challenges, I think these would actually be easier to implement the PvE challenges. But maybe we could have like one PvE challenge, one PvP challenge a week. It's just, again, just ideas. Might not ever happen. Might be something that actually gets implemented implemented in the game. So let me know what you guys think about these. Uh, like complete giants B10 with one unit. Uh, it's, it's possible. We've done, I'm sh a lot of different YouTubers have done it. And other people have done it as well. Just for fun. Uh, complete TOA hard 100 with no 6 stars. This is possible too. You gotta have really, really, really good runes on them. Not really possible. Uh, really tricky for an early game, but it's possible. Also, my, it's uh, depending on what TOA rotation is in that month. It'll be easier if it's the dude, right? It'll be easier if the, when the, the chicks are in there. It's 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 a totally different story. It's gonna be a tricky one for that. Uh, beat all three rounds of world boss with only dark monsters. They don't need to be six starred, but at least you need six. Uh, you you need sixty dark monsters at like four star level thirty or whatever. Complete necro beat with only elven rangers. These are just ideas. I'm just throwing out some ideas for you guys, but. I think weekly challenges could be a fun new thing where every week there's a new challenge. You tune in to see what the challenge is. Like you see the YouTube challenges, the, the YouTube challenge, like the YouTube channels, channels, the YouTube channels could like do videos on like, oh, this is how to do this challenge. This is how to do that challenge. It, it could be a cool thing that everyone gets involved in. I like the idea. Evan liked the idea. He's he forwarded it to the uh, to the devs. Which never want to talk to Jubeiko because, well, because I don't speak Korean. Anyway, anyway, uh, but it could be something that could be fun and maybe one day implemented in the game. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Maybe Comptrust will read it. Maybe uh, in the, the comment section or whatever and get some ideas from that. Maybe they won't and they'll just put it in the Jubeiko trash file. Uh, but you never know. You never know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you as always in the next one.